Did you know that we can actually survive without some of our organs? The general rule of thumb is that the organs that come in pairs, we can actually survive with just one. So for example, we have the kidneys, the lungs, the reproductive organs like the testes and the ovaries. And even though they all have super important functions, one of each is actually enough to survive. And as every rule has an exception, we actually do have single organs that we can also live without. So for instance, the uterus, which is only needed if one were to carry a child. And the stomach, because even though it does play an important role in digestion, life can go on without it. We might just need smaller meal portions, and they must be more frequent throughout the day. The appendix. I'm sure you know somebody or a few people that have had their appendix removed because they had appendicitis and they're totally fine. We can also live without our spleen, but we might become more prone to infections by encapsulated bacteria. So people without their spleen might need extra medical attention in that regard. So now you know some of the organs that we can live without. We know how important they are to us and how much better we might function with them, but sometimes you just need to live without them. Like a long lasting relationship that just needs to end. I'm talking to you, girl in toxic relationship.